In this Dutch language lesson, we will discuss relationships between people and family relationships. Do you have Dutch relatives, friends, or even a Dutch partner? For almost half of the students, this is the reason why they are learning Dutch. What about you? I am interested to know. If you are watching this in YouTube, please write it in the comments, so we get to know each other a bit better. In return, I will tell you a bit about my family. I am Bart Pau. This is 1000 most common words in Dutch. The course in basic Dutch vocabulary with exercises on LearnDutch.org. 40 lessons. In each lesson you learn 25 of the most frequently used Dutch words. Welcome to lesson 20. De familie. De familie. Very important in the Dutch language when we say the word familie we mean all relatives, including uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents, etc. This should not be confused with the word het gezin, het gezin, which includes the parents and the children, one household. De vader, de vader. But his child will rather say papa. Papa. De moeder. De moeder. Mama. Mama. Now, this word is the same in almost all languages and it is usually the first word ever that someone pronounces. So, you probably already spoke Dutch before you realized. Het kind. Het kind. The plural noun of kind is irregular. De kinderen. De kinderen. De zoon. De zoon. De dochter. De dochter. De broer. De broer. De zus. De zus. Do you have a brother or a sister? I do. I have both. Ik heb een broer en een zus. They're not here in the picture, they're older. And my brother is also a Dutch teacher, leraar Nederlands. De opa. De opa. De oma. De oma. Het kleinkind. Het kleinkind. De tante. De tante. De oom. De oom. De neef. De neef. I have only one male cousin, Nave, and perhaps you know him. I recorded the online course Studio Studio with him about the differences in the Dutch language between the Netherlands and Belgium. And my cousin Tom is Belgian. Attention, we use the same word Nave for the son of your uncle and aunt, cousin, as the son of your brother or sister, nephew. De nicht. De nicht. The same applies here. It can be a cousin or niece. More about mijn familie. I already told you my brother, broer, is a teacher. But he is not the only one. My father Vader and my aunt, Tante, are teachers. Out of my six cousins, neven and nichten, four of them are also teachers. 
so you can understand that it's in my genes. But whereas my relatives have a job in public schools, I also got a bit of the genes of the generation of my grandparents, opas and omas, since they were entrepreneurs. So now you understand why I'm running my language courses as a business. That's all about family. Let's have a look at some other personal relationships. De vriend. De vriend. And that can mean both friend and boyfriend. De vriendin. De vriendin. And that is a female friend or a girlfriend. De kennis. De kennis. And another word, de bekende. De bekende. De klasgenoot. De klasgenoot. De verkering. De verkering. Verliefd. Verliefd. Now, if you want to know more words related to love, I recommend you to watch my love vocabulary video. Verloofd. Verloofd. Trouwen. Trouwen. Using the past participle, they are married, we say, ze zijn getrouwd. Ze zijn getrouwd. But not all stories have a happy ending. Scheiden. Scheiden. Zij zijn gescheiden. Zij zijn gescheiden. That's also the end of this lesson. Study the vocabulary list and do the exercises on the website. If you like the lesson, give it a thumbs up and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly videos to learn Dutch. Tot ziens, tot les 21. Tot les 21.